In this video, we're going to look at how to bring borings into AutoCAD Civil 3D by using the Holbase SI extension for AutoCAD Civil 3D. You should see here how it really transforms the way you view your data. We're going to start by going into Holbase SI where we're going to import our data. Now imagine from our contractors we have just received our boring information. It may be in AGS, it may be in CSV data. In this case it's AGS it, and we are now bringing it in. Now this could be created and sent at the end of the day, even during the day. But you can see within a few seconds we can validate this data and bring it into Holbase SI. In this case, we have 26 borings we pulled in. And really what we want to do before we go into AutoCAD Civil 3D is just check that everything is ha as we expect it to be. So for instance, the Civil Extension uses location type as a means of theming the data. We just want to check that appropriate location types have been set. In this case, they're all rotary coring. Likewise, by just clicking on the header, we're going to sort it by ascending and descending, and we're checking to see that we got sensible coordinates. If we have null coordinates, that particular boring location will not be brought in. If it's set to 0, 0, it will be imported at 0, 0. And we want to do the same for ground level as well, to make sure that all, have, all our borings have sensible ground levels. I'm now moving over into the field geology descriptions. Uh, this is what we're going to band and color code our borings on. So we, again, we want to just check that we have sensible values here. Now, in this particular example, the contractors have already put their geology codes in. Uh, so we're using those and we're going to check that everything looks sensible. We want to make sure that we're using a standard set of geology codes. What we don't want to see is MG for made ground, made ground, M ground, and misspellings. If you have lots of different variations, it's just going to make it much harder to model and visualize your data. By keeping it simple with standard uh, geology codes, it just makes it much easier to visualize and understand your data when you bring it into AutoCAD. So let's go into AutoCAD now. And what I'm going to do here, just so we can see it in better context, I'm just going to save the drawing and just use a shortcut to a ground survey that we already have. So this is just a ground survey of our site and it will help us understand the location of where our borings are a lot better. So let's zoom to it and all I'm going to do now is alter the vertical exaggeration. Let's just make that fivefold. You'll see why in a moment. So with that done, I'm now ready to use the whole base SI connect command we can now select the particular project we're interested in. In this case, it's our Shrewsbury Park project. And I'll hit OK on this. So we're now bringing that data. I'm not going to use the term importing because we're, it is actually dynamic accessing that data inside AutoCAD Civil 3D. But you can see now these are rotary core in uh, borings. So you can see that we've used the rotary core in symbol. Different whole types will have different symbols but where this really comes into effect now is when we start looking at our borings in 3D. You can see when we connected through to whole base we've actually pulled in the 3D boreholes which are all color coded based on geology. And one thing we do in this version is that we make good use, it's, it's a simple feature but it's really effective, we actually make good use of layers. So if I just zoom up here, you notice that we've created a group called KNX. And this has all of my boring information in. So the first thing I'm going to do here is just hide all of my borings. Just turn them all off. And then as I start turning them on individually, we can see where that different geology is around our site. It's a way of really allowing you to understand the context of what you're seeing. You can also see why I use the ground survey now. It really puts our geology into context. So here, for instance, the blue represents our peat. And you can see we have four borings with peat in. Now, of course, we could always look at the boring log. 
This is traditional way of working where you would look at the boring log, you probably have 40 or 50 sheets of paper to go with your 40 or 50 borings and a site plan and you'll be trying to work out where each boring log refers to each borehole and try to pick and visualize that information in your head. Now here in seconds we have pulled the data into Holebase, poured it into AutoCAD Civil 3D and we can have a much better understanding of our geology across our site. It really will help you transform the way you visualize your geology data. We can use the location manager to control how the borings display. So for instance we can choose which borings we want to view. We can also change the band by. So at the moment we're using geology codes so the borehole borings are split into individual cylinders based on geology codes. But now I've just switched it to work with legend codes or lithology codes. So in this quick video we've hopefully shown you how you can really visualize your boring data inside AutoCAD Civil 3D. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions or ideas for new videos please let me know by using the comment box below. Also don't forget to subscribe to our channel for access to more training videos as we add them. For more information on how Kinetics can help you, please visit our website, email us or call. Thank you for watching.